Hey everyone, Vinayak here. What I have here with me is the new era of ultra thin laptops. This one being the ZenBook S16 by Asus. Also important is that it harnesses AMD's new Ryzen AI processor, which is a powerful strix point family processor. So let's check out both the laptop and the processor in this video. This is the ZenBook S16, Asus's new ultra-thin 16-inch laptop. The chassis uses Ceralumin, a mix of ceramic and aluminium. So what can I say, it looks really cool. The ceramic treatment helps against scratches and the military 810H certification indicates it's made rugged. So display, it comes with a 3K OLED touchscreen, bezels are quite thin and the resolution is 2880 by 1800. It supports 120Hz refresh rate and supports up to 500 nits of peak brightness. Asus names it the Lumia OLED and it has support for 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut and Dolby Vision is supported and the display is also validated by Pantone. So the display is ready for color accurate work. Vesa True HDR 500 is also supported because of the 500 nits brightness that it has. Does it open with only one finger? Yep, it does. So it's weighted down just right. The screen can tilt back 130 degrees, which is all I generally need. And the hinge is also pretty tight, keeping its angle even if you're typing furiously. The laptop is also just amazingly thin with 1.1 cm profile at its thinnest point and a weight of 1.5 kg. Ports, we have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port on the right with a full-size SD card reader. On the left, we have two Type C ports which is used for fast charging the laptop and also can be used for display output. We also have a HDMI 2.1 port and a 3.5 mm audio jack. The webcam is 1080p and the shutter can be controlled via the function keys to enable or disable the webcam or even the microphone. Image quality is good, nothing to complain about, should be good enough for your live streaming or even your office calls. Windows Hello is also supported by the laptop allowing for face unlocking which is quite fast and worked pretty well. The touchscreen is responsive. Great that it has a touchscreen unlike other brands. Speakers are down firing and 6 in number, tuned by Harman Kardon. The sound is clean and crisp and can also get loud. And bass is fine but could have been better. The keyboard is also a decent size with adequate key spacing. It has a single color backlight and which is white and is decent especially if you're using it for work. Key travel is good, not the best, but this is understandable as the laptop being thin and light and is just 1.1 centimeter thick. And as with most thin and light laptops, the arrow keys are tiny. Good that games use WSAD instead of these. The trackpad is made of glass and it's massive, which is 40% larger than regular, but similar to the ones that are found on the MacBooks, if I dare say. It supports standard trackpad gestures featuring Windows gestures. It does have its own for brightness if you swipe up and down on the right and for volume if you swipe up and down on the left. The top is for playback controls and you can scrub through maybe YouTube videos using this section. Processor-wise, it incorporates an AMD AI9 HX370 CPU with an integrated Radeon 890M GPU. This is the first time I'm trying out the AI series of AMD CPU, so I'm really excited about it. The AMD AI hardware is supposed to offer impressive processing capabilities and also should allow gaming at a respectable resolution. The AMD AI9 HX370 uses TSMC's 4 nanometer FinFET tech, has 12 cores and supports 24 threads. Max boost clock is up to 5.1 GHz with a base clock of 2 GHz. TDP is between 15 to 54 watts as per the load. Its XDNA4 NPU supports up to 50 tops. 32 GB of LPDDR5X RAM running at 7500 MHz is a decent amount as it does have an NPU allowing for AI workloads. Storage is 1TB PCIe Gen 4 NVMe. It's upgradable so that's a plus. Connectivity we have Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. Battery is 78 watt hours and provided in the box is a 65 watt uh, fast charger which can fast charge up to 60% in 49 minutes. 18 plus hours of battery life is promised but it would depend on how you use the laptop. Performance, let's do some benchmarks. Here's Cinebench R23. Single core we get a score of 1896 and multi-core we get a score of 14656. 
Temps were a toasty 89 to 90 degrees at peak, which is standard since Zen 4 as 100 degrees centigrade is considered as the new 80. And these temps are only under peak load. Normal task, the laptop will run cool. 3D Mark, Time Spy, we get a score of 3360. The TDP seems to be hitting 38 watts, which is quite a jump from the 15 to 20 range provided by AMD. Steel Nomad, we get a score of 461, as this test is a demanding one on even desktop hardware. The low score is understandable. The light version did perform better with a score of 1866. Port Real scored 1078 and Fire Strike gets a score of 7345. Game wise, I tested Red Dead Redemption 2. At 2880 by 1800, we get a max frame rate of 41 FPS. And at 1080p, we get 66 FPS. AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2 or AFMF2 is their cutting edge frame generation technology designed to increase the frame rate and is also available on the Ryzen AI 300 series processors. The fans do run high but is not that loud. The cooling system performed adequately, cooling down the laptop quite fast and it has this geometric grill design for enhanced cooling. The novel geometric grill design includes 3522 CNC machined cooling vents, enhances cooling efficiency, and the design is functionally aesthetic. I set the fans to full speed mode for best performance to get the most out of the system. Also, an important point to note is that if you're not plugged in, the performance doesn't tank. You do lose about 5% or maximum 10, but not as drastic on other Windows laptops, especially gaming laptops. This makes it a good challenger against the Snapdragon and the M series MacBooks. AI, of course, is the buzzword right now, and the AMD Ryzen AI 9 HX370 offers next generation AI capabilities, which are used to power the core Windows and ASUS features. Copilot is your everyday AI companion, which can make use of the dedicated MPU with 50 tops performance. So, support for live captions, co creator, and recall, which I don't want, should also work. We have a dedicated Copilot key here, which would open the Copilot features page where all the features are accessible. ASUS's AI ASUS application handles how the system performs, including slowing down or speeding up the CPU and fans as necessary to provide the best battery life and also reduce noise. The AMD AI series of processors are bringing x86 Windows laptops up to par with its ARM counterparts without the need for any translation layer as it runs through x86 software. So all your favorite x86 applications will run without a hitch. There might be some optimizations necessary to bring out the best out of this system, but it's a start where Windows laptops don't lose performance when made thin and light. So well, why do we need ARM for Windows? As rewriting the apps does cost the developers, I was an advocate for ARM, namely Snapdragon X series processors, but AMD has turned the tide and made X86 just as good, maybe even better as we have more software support. We will know how the battle continues and which one trumps the other. It's a win for consumers anyway. Running the system on Windows 11 with the latest 24H2 update would enable the best performance out of your Zen 5 CPU. Battery life is fantastic, which is something Windows 11 laptops are lacking. 18 plus hours of battery life brings the Road Warrior dream a bit closer. While testing, I did get only 11 hours of battery life, so web browsing, document editing, you will get at least 11 hours. Priced at around 1.49 lakhs, it's not the cheapest, but for the OLED screen, the performance it provides is a decent competitor in the thin and light space. So what do you guys think about the ZenBook S16 OLED? Does the new AI series of processors make X86 great again? Make sure to comment below. Also make sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when new videos are added. Thank you for watching and see you all next time.